O great King of the Accordion, Dick Contino, I kneel before you, bearing this gift, this miniature accordion was hand-painted and jeweled by me, and I want to present it to you. It's not buying it. <laughs> well, now he's gone, so I'll take the stool. We need a little background music. That's accordion music. <laughs> Today, the spotlight is on the original accordion sensation, the one and only Dick Contino, the biggest name in the accordion world. And it all began 72 years ago tonight, December 7th, 1947. The radio airwaves were alive with the sound of accordion music, about two and a half minutes worth. And that two and a half minute performance of Lady of Spain by Dick Contino would change the accordion world forever in American show business too. No one before Dick Contino, and no one since, took the accordion to the top in show business. I want to talk about my friend, and when I say my friend, I still don't believe it. Now, when I was young, learning to play the accordion, I had become very interested in Liberace. I talked about Liberace in episode four. And my accordion teacher would occasionally talk to me about Dick Contino. She was listening to Dick on radio. That night, she heard that first episode. It was a radio talent contest, and I'll talk more about that. But when she would talk about Dick Contino, I was interested, of course, but I was so focused on Liberace. Anyway, she did bring that 78 record right there, that's the actual 78. She brought that and told me to take it home for a week and to bring it back at my next lesson. And I still remember being in my practice room. I put that 78 on and I listened to it many times. I knew I was hearing something great, but it would not penetrate until years later, years later, after Liberace passed, I began to hear about Dick Contino. People would talk about him. And I was getting this feeling that I needed to see Dick Contino. And finally, someone that I met had just come from Las Vegas and saw Dick on the strip in a show, a variety show, Keep Smiling America, I think was the name of it. And Dick closed the show. So it was now apparent to me that I must see Dick Contino live. I decided to see if I could contact him. I called information and I asked for Dick Contino in Las Vegas. The operator said, I have D Contino. And I said, let's try it. Well, the phone rang, and this super cool voice answered. And I said, is this Dick Contino? And he said, yeah. That cool Dick Contino voice. So we talked for a few minutes, and I told him I was an accordion player in San Diego. I made my living playing the accordion, and I wanted to come see him in that strip show. I don't mean strip show show on the strip. <laughs> so, he said, I'd be delighted to have you. A couple of weeks later, I was in the audience, 
and they announced Dick Contino, the legend of the accordion. Dick came out to thunderous applause. There were women in the front row who were reaching up for him. Fans! I immediately realized that this was another very important person. He strapped on that accordion. He began to play and immediately I was overwhelmed by what I was hearing and seeing. No accordion player had affected me like that. Now remember, I was making my living and I thought I was great. But I, I just didn't know what I was hearing. This was something so far beyond what I was doing. I began crying that night in the showroom. And of course, I had to meet Dick Contino after the show. Just like the Liberace story, I went backstage. Dick opened his dressing room door and he said, hey, come in. He closed the door and then he looked at me and he said, do I know you? <laughs> For a moment he thought he knew who I was, but I think it was because we were destined to meet and to eventually become friends. I still don't know how it happened, but Dick welcomed me into his world. Dick changed my life. After that night, I saw him again and again and again. And by 1997, when I opened for Dick in El Cajon, California, we were friends. And that friendship grew stronger. Dick would call me like family. He was Sicilian-American. And if a Sicilian says to you, you're like family to me, it's special. I could talk for hours about Dick Contino. How many times was I with him when he was performing? I can't count. Either backstage or sometimes in the audience. Sometimes I would see the show backstage first and see the second show from the audience. It was special to me. Dick had me as a guest in his home a number of times. We ate lunch in restaurants and dinner together. The conversations we had were spiritual as well as about music. He was like a father to me. But let's go back to that night in 1947, a 17-year-old Fresno accordion player standing before a live audience the first episode of a radio talent show. Dick didn't realize that night that this was an ongoing contest. He was just excited to be playing on radio. He thought to himself, thousands of people will hear me tonight. Well, it was millions that heard Dick Contino. And by the next day, he was being talked about all over America. He was literally a star. By December 8th, 1947. Well, this contest was a radio show that would play for a year. And Dick was unstoppable. No one could beat Dick Contino. And he was the grand finale winner. One year later, December 1948, in New York City, Dick was the grand prize winner, and he earned $5,000 that night. And of course, his career was like an explosion. He played the main rooms in Las Vegas, countless television appearances, 48 times on Ed Sullivan, from 1950 to 1967.
He was the most important accordion player in the history of the accordion. And I can't tell you how much it meant to me that Dick Contino would come and listen to me. Dick heard me play a number of times. He said to me one day after hearing me the night before, we spoke on the phone and Dick said, you have your own style. You don't compete with anyone. Your arrangements are great. Your intros and your endings. Dick was famous for his extended endings. He said to me, just when I thought I knew you were going somewhere with your ending, you would surprise me. I was knocked out by that. I surprised Dick Contino, but it was Dick that inspired me to go further with my accordion, to put more passion into my playing, to put even more creativity into my arrangements. The accordionist I am today, I owe it to Dick Contino, I really do. I could talk for hours. I just want to say, Dick Contino, you mean the world to me. I miss you. I think about you every day. Thank you for your friendship, for treating me like an equal as a musician. That's unheard of. A superstar befriending a non-star. <laughs> Happy 72nd anniversary in show business. Dick Contino. Thank you for tuning in, everybody.